This clinical case deals with an 81-year-old man who has a previous history of occult GI bleeding. He was admitted to the hospital for a new episode of Melina with a severe iron deficiency anemia and normal upper and lower GI endoscopies. A small bowel video capsule was performed after appropriate bowel preparation, 2 liters of polyethylene glycol. The first step is to select the name of the patient from the list. This screen displays all of the features of the reading software, with the most useful for diagnosis being the express selected mode. The overview mode displays a global impression of the capsule examination and allows selection of landmarks, such as the first gastric image, the first duodenal image, and finally, the first cecal image. At each stage, isolated images are assessed by using the various functions, especially forward and backward. Adequate pictures are stored as thumbnail images. Individual frames can be enhanced, or a sequence of still images can be analyzed in playback view. Selection of a landmark activates the 3D tracking image display. Moving the capsule bar allows all of the small bowel images to be displayed as far as the first sequel image. Details of the terminal ilium aspect are enhanced. The enhanced aspect of the sequel mucosa shows marked differences from the ileal picture. The final landmark, the first image of the cecum, sees the completion of the 3D tracking image. A quick glance at the red color overview allows the first diagnosis of an angioma. The enlarged image shows a hemostatic clip from a previous enteroscopy. A jejunal angioma is clearly identified on the enhanced still image, which can be stored with the capsule aspect on the lower part of the screen. Enhanced pictures or sequences are important in order to identify multiple angiomas. As the capsule is sometimes stationary, the same angioma can be recorded for minutes from various aspects. The real diagnosis starts with a review of all capsule images in express selected mode. During express selected mode, other angiomas are identified and their images stored with the other thumbnails.
If a thumbnail image is not appropriate, it can be removed. The reading functions allow the user to play forward and backward directly on screen or by scrolling using the computer mouse. The examination time of each abnormality is recorded and the 3D tracking image shows the approximate location in the GI tract. In this case, diagnosis is achieved using only the express selected mode. The skip mode or even normal mode are not needed as the diagnosis is clear. As reviewing the video can rapidly become boring, it is wise to stop the video frequently and to use the software video function in order to avoid missing important pictures. Multiple images are stored in order to illustrate the capsule endoscopy report. Some angiomas are clearly visible, but minor vascular abnormalities are more difficult to identify. Another trick for reviewing video and avoiding eye fatigue is to play the video at various speeds. Artifacts have to be differentiated from real angiomas. In order to illustrate the report, images of various landmarks and small bowel abnormalities are selected and labelled. Findings and procedures are recorded in the report on the patient sheet, together with the final summary and physician identifications and signature. Medical terms stored in the software can be used to write the report. When the report, including the video capsule images, has been finalized, it can be saved and printed. Accurate reporting is mandatory. We use the WEO standard terminology for description of findings. The approximate location of abnormalities is shown in the 3D tracking graph. This is important for determining whether to use the oral or anal route for future planned balloon enteroscopy. Yeah.